Hey guys, I'm out in the shop today running some parts for my belt drive kit. I always seem to get questions about this with Mach 3. You're running a part like this, and as I just did, and I notice the chamfer is not quite deep enough, not the way I want it. So I want to edit that G code, then I want to come back and I want to rerun it. But I don't want to rerun the whole part, I just want to rerun this one operation. So Mach 3, run from here. People always get confused with this, and they always have issues. And I, too, myself have made mistakes and caused me to ruin my part. So here are some quick tips to help you get through this so that you don't have any issues, and hopefully you won't ruin your part. Now, it just so happens that this operation is at the end of my G-code. This is the very last operation. However, if you're in the middle of the G-code and you want to run, uh, start from a certain point in the middle always go back to the beginning of the operation so let me show you so I have Mach 3 here and I've got my G code so I want to go up and I want to scroll down through my G code until I get to that operation that happens to be at the bottom so I'm just going to go all the way down I'm going to come back up Now here is the beginning of this chamfer operation. So I've got a, uh, a description here, then we're going to stop the spindle, we're going to stop the coolant, and then we're going to do a tool change. Now this is where I want to start my cycle, right there at that description. So I'm going to scroll down to that line, I'm going to see that it's 1072 here. I'm going to click run from here. It's going to scroll down through there. It's going to turn on the coolant because the coolant was on for the last operation. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is shut my doors here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cycle start. This pop-up window is going to come up and it's going to ask me if I want to do this positional move change. Now remember at this point in time in the G-code, I am not on tool 34. I am on the previous tool, or at least Mach 3 will think that I am. So keep that in mind as well. That's why I like to kind of go back before the tool change and start. That way it will prompt me to do a tool change and I'll make sure that I get the correct tool. Often when people are doing run from here, they have the wrong tool number in there or Mach 3 gets confused, so it's best to go back before the M6T cycle. Now, as far as all these positional moves, it doesn't really matter because we're going to stop here on the next line and do a tool change. So I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to hit cycle start. We had that particular tool in there, so it bypassed the tool change, and it's going to just run my part. However, if the tool needed to be changed, it would have changed the tool and continued on. All right. So you can see that's just a little bit nicer. And a little bit deeper. So guys, that's how you do the Mach 3 run from here. As long as you understand what Mach 3 is trying to do, it makes it a lot easier. If you're running G-code from the middle of a long run of G-code, back up several lines and start from a higher Z level. The key thing is to make sure you have the right tool number in there and Mach 3 knows you have the right tool number in there. And you shouldn't have any trouble. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down below. That way when you, I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching, guys, and most importantly, be safe.